Hello, I'm Martine Croxall. In this special edition, we take a look at some of the most extreme places on Earth. The hottest, coldest, driest or windiest. They're all on extreme weather. Spare a thought for the scientists who live at the Russian research station at Vostok, near the South Pole. According to the World Meteorological Organization, it's officially the coldest place on Earth, reaching a record minus 89.2 degrees Celsius on July the 21st, 1983. It's also one of the driest, with an average precipitation of only 10 centimetres a year. And even in summer, the thermometer never rises above freezing. In fact, the warmest temperature ever recorded at Vostok was minus 12.2 degrees Celsius. According to data from the Vestas weather experts, in some areas of the Atacama Desert, the average rainfall is just one millimetre each year. Some weather stations in the area have never recorded a single drop of rain, and scientists have discovered riverbeds that have been dry for 120,000 years. Despite the intense dryness, some plants do grow in the desert. It's thought they get just enough moisture from a sea fog called the Kamanchaka. Death Valley in the United States is often said to be the hottest place on the planet, but the record for the highest temperature of all time is actually held by Libya. A thermometer busting 57.8 degrees Celsius was recorded by a meteorological station in El Azizia in 1922. But for the highest average temperature in the world, we travel to Ethiopia. At Dalol in the Denikil Depression, the land dips 116 metres below sea level and the temperature soars to an average 34.4 degrees Celsius. Most experts agree that the Grand Banks off the eastern tip of Canada endure more foggy days a year than anywhere else. That's because two ocean currents, the cold Labrador Current and the warm Gulf Stream, meet just off the coast. Almost as gloomy is the area around San Francisco Bay, which can have up to 200 foggy days a year. The bay's famous Golden Gate Bridge is often shrouded by dense fog that also presents a hazard for ships entering and leaving the busy harbour. According to the US Office of the Federal Coordinator for Meteorology, fog is only said to occur when visibility is less than one kilometre. If visibility is more than that, it's classified as mist. Most surfers agree that Hawaii is home to the world's biggest waves. Because the islands are so far away from any other landmass, Pacific storms have plenty of time to generate giant, perfect waves. The famous pipeline on the north shore of Oahu is said to be the most deadly wave to surf in the world. Other contenders can be found at Pebble Beach, Northern California, where the waves regularly top 25 metres and Hout Bay near Cape Town, which has the added danger of being close to the most shark-infested waters on Earth. That's it for this special edition. I'll be back soon reporting on more of the world's extreme weather.